All right, we're going to go ahead and get started. <clears throat> My name is Ms. White and I am the Connections Department Chair. If your student is a sixth grader, you may be used to Connections being called specials in elementary school. But unlike elementary school, students will receive grades for their Connections classes. This department has several classes. Um, some that are offered include physical education, art, business and computer science in Spanish. And in this session, you will be provided, you will be introduced to our connection staff and provided with a brief overview of their classes. Hi everyone, my name is Coach Langston. I am the physical education teacher here at Clements Middle School. Um, this is my fifth year teaching, but my first year at Clements. Um, a little about me, my favorite team is the Lakers. Um, the NBA team is the Lakers. My favorite baseball team is the Braves. And my favorite football team is the Falcons. Um, this school year is a little bit different than what we're used to because we're starting off virtually. Uh, but even though we're not face-to-face, -face, I expect um, all students to participate and try their best in um, physical education. Up next, we have health. Um, Ms. Coach Zachary is the health teacher. She is um, de delighted to have you all in her class. Um, the class will cover the entire spectrum of what health and wellness is. And um, she wants you all to come to class with an open mind, integrity, and patience to tackle this school year. Up next, we have music. The music teacher is Ms. Brantley. Um, she's originally from Columbia, South Carolina, um, and she graduated from South Carolina State University, where she received her music education um, bachelor's of science degree. When you enter her classroom, she expects everyone to have their, um, their cameras on, their computers muted, and to participate in chat and discussions when asked to. Up next, we have engineering and technology. The teacher is Ms. Whaley White. She has a master's um, in engineering and technology. Um, she received her bachelor's at Georgia State University. Her favorite color is pink. Her favorite singer is Beyonce. And in her class, you will learn the engineering design process, engineering drawing and drafting, coding, computer-aided design, communication systems, invention and innovation. Up next, we have visual arts and the teacher is Mr. Graham. Um, Mr. Graham has been at Clements for the past three years and in his art class, be prepared to create with your mind, heart and soul. He wants you to trust the process of creating and learning about the power of visual arts through hands-on projects, art history, vocabulary, and art creation. All right, hi everyone, I'm Coach Zachary. I'm the other uh, PE teacher, health teacher. Um, so on this slide, we have Ms. Bellamy. Ms. Bellamy is um, a business and computer science teacher here at Clements. Um, she would like to take the time to uh, welcome you and you know the students to school. Um, her favorite color is green. Her favorite team is the Baltimore Ravens, um, and her favorite candy is the Ferrero Rocher. Um, in class, you guys will learn uh, about Google uh, Google Suites, Microsoft Office, entrepreneurship, web design, um, and of course, you'll build a foundation for computer science. Okay, so on the next slide, you have Spanish. Um, Spanish is taught by Ms. Perez. Um, in Spanish, you guys will uh, develop, in Spanish, you guys will develop comp a competence in Spanish. You'll understand the culture of the people who speak the language as their native language. Um, and also you'll use Spanish outside of your classrooms in your everyday lives. All right, next we have Ms. Harrell, also known as Chef Harrell. Um, in her class, it is family consumer science. So in her class, 
Um, you will learn employability, career planning, leadership, money management, menu planning, meal preparation, and just other life skills um, that you, you guys will need in today's society. Okay, next we have Ms. Belcher. Ms. Belcher is um, over Genesis Math, which is uh, Connections Math. Um, if you guys need like any more support, you know, in the math area, we also have Genesis Math uh, with Ms. Belcher. Um, her favorite NFL team is the Atlanta Falcons. Her favorite snack is Cheez-Its. All right, um, next we have Ms. McDaniel. She is the ESOL teacher here at Clements. Um, Ms. McDaniel, as you can see, she has a lot of degrees, of course, um, and she definitely uses them all. Um, and yeah, transitioning, you know, from other languages over to English, um, that's all Ms. McDaniel. All right, so any questions from you guys, any questions from parents, any questions from students? Any questions? Anyone have any questions for any of us? Hello, everybody. I'm Miss McDaniel. I'm the ESOL teacher here. Um, I speak, I teach English to speakers of other languages. Um, a couple of little housekeeping things. Um, we want to make sure one of the county's non negotiables this year is that the students keep their cameras on at all times. We have really missed seeing our babies' faces. Um, so we need to keep the camera on for a couple of reasons, sometimes for participation grade, um, also so that we can see if our kids understand what's going on. Um, if a student has a reason, um, a particular reason why they don't feel comfortable having the camera on in their home, if they would just maybe privately chat to the teacher or if the parent would get with the teacher by email and say why the student's not comfortable having the camera on in their home, um, we, can, we can work with you on that. But if the student would just pick a quiet corner um, and just make sure they keep their camera on so that we can see what's going on with our students, check for understanding that participation grade. Um, just want a little housekeeping note. Tomorrow, if your students haven't picked up their supplies, they can pick up their supplies, meaning their textbooks and agendas, workbooks and novels for ELA. They can pick those up tomorrow between 10 and 12 on the bus ramp. You just drive in, don't get out of the car, tell them your name, and we will get you your um, supplies. We have a question. Um, can't get on Infinite Campus. Is this, if the student if the student's a sixth grader and maybe they've never logged on. Um, if you can give me just a little bit more information when you say can't get on Infinite Campus, um, we'll see what we can do to help you out there. So if you'll just go ahead and type in the chat a little bit more information, I can help you out. Do we have any other questions for our parents? We're so glad that we have 36 people in. Ms. McDaniel. Uh, any connection teachers? you have anything else you want to add for our parents? Ms. McDaniel. Okay, Ms. McDaniel. Right. For the parent who has that question about Infinite Campus, just kind of hang around and you can uh, give us a little bit more information. We will make sure we can help you out there. Um, and Ms. Whaley White's going to show you the rotation. My daughter can. Uh, Ms. Oh, hey. she doesn't remember her login. Okay, um, she doesn't remember her login. All right, connection. Mr. Graham, can anyone address? She doesn't remember her login. Oh, I was going to say, um, oh, Ms. No. Campbell was trying to um, get your attention earlier. Remember. Ms. So McDaniel, sure. I was just going to say to the parent, if they go to the Newton County website, they can um, create their own parent portal log in so they can get their child's information to get into Infinite Campus to see their schedules and that way if their child doesn't remember their login information. Mr. Graham, did you have something to add? Oh, no, I was just saying, Ms. Uh, Ms. Campbell was, was wanting to get um, Mrs. Oh, okay. um, Daniel's information. She gave the information just now, so that was it. Um, 
Miss McDaniel is going to drop her email address into the chat so she can help you out with that issue. All right. Um, your next rotation should be um, math, and this is the information for you to join math. Thank you for joining us. Um, for the parent who couldn't get in, I dropped the link in. If, you're stu if you just click the link, it will um, walk you through the username and password and how to reset it for the student. Hey, Ms. Melanie. Hi, I have a question. Okay, go ahead. So there, on the first um, rotation, they said that there's the link for, for the parents to sign in, but I keep typing in that link and it's not taking me anywhere. Um, and I'm trying to see how I can access the link so I can sign in. The link for the sign-in sheet? Correct. I'm going to um, defer to Ms. Campbell on that one. I'm not sure. Yes. I can see if someone can shoot it to me real quick. Hang on just a minute. Okay, thank you. Right, um, Dr. Stringer, so P through T, yeah, you should be going to ELA now. Correct me if I'm wrong, because if it's P through T here now, they should be going to ELA, right? Some, okay, yeah. <laughs> yeah, ELA 6 to 620. Ms. Whaley White, can you share your screen, like, for the um, transition? Um, yes, hi, this is Ms. Pruitt. I was um, just wondering, uh, when we get the link to sign in, will we be able to go back and sign in for classes that we've already, or rotations that we've already been in? If I'm not mistaken, it's just one sign in for the whole open house. Oh, okay, because I didn't get the link either, so. Okay. I'm waiting for someone to send it to me, and if not, you can, when you go in your next session, um, they may have it. I'm just, okay. I haven't received it yet. All right, thank you.
All right, for those of your parents that were here for session two, which was 540 to six o'clock, you guys can skedaddle over to ELA for your six o'clock session. And then we'll um, open the doors for our next class, which shows you a lot like your kids' day is going to go. Once one class ends, they need them to jump up, run in the bathroom, get a snack, and log into that next class. So if the parents from our second session will skedaddle on over to ELA, we'd appreciate it. Far too far. I want to see you. Unmute your camera. Good evening and welcome to our virtual open house. My name is Ms. White and I am the Connections Department Chair. Um, if your student is a sixth grader, you may be used to connections being called specials in elementary school, but unlike elementary school, students will receive grades for their connections classes. This department is comprised of several classes. Some, um, of, some of the classes are physical education, art, business and computer science, and Spanish. And in this session, you will be introduced to our staff and be provided with a brief overview of our classes. Good evening, everybody. I'm Ms. Brantley, um, and I'll be introducing some of our team with you today. Um, first, we have Coach Langston. Um, I'm sorry, can't see. Um, 
you are he is from he has a bachelor's from Kennesaw State University. His favorite team um, is the Lakers, um, the Braves, and the Atlanta Falcons. Um, you you are expected to re, you are expected and required to try your best every day in physical education. Um, next, we have Coach Zachary who also does physical education and health. She is delighted to have you guys in class this year. In health, we'll go over the entire spectrum of what health and wellness is, why we need it, and how to achieve and maintain it. This course fully aligns with Newton County's um, school system's high school's health curriculum. It is a ninth grade course and will be treated as such. Um, for music, we have, oh, I'm sorry, I'm going too fast. Um, for music, we have me, Ms. Brantley. Um, I am from Columbia, South Carolina, where I studied, attended South Carolina State University, where I received my Bachelor of Music Education. Um, in class, you are expected to I have the highest expectations for everybody, even though we are all meeting virtually, and we expect you to log into your Zoom meetings on time, have your videos on, have your device muted, participate in chat and discussions when asked to cooperate with your group members in break and during break rooms, and speak only when given permission or when you have the floor, and have your materials that are needed for class daily. For engineering and technology, we have Ms. Whaley White. Um, in this class, um, you, will have, you will learn the engineering design process, as well as how to use it to solve design challenges, engineering, drawing, and drafting, coding, computer-aided design, communication systems, inventions versus innovation. Ms. Whaley White attended Georgia State University and Alabama State University, where she received her degree in sociology and her master's degree from Grand Canyon University. Her favorite color is pink. Her favorite singer is Beyonce. For visual arts, we have Mr. Graham. Um, Mr. Graham has been teaching at Clements Middle School for the past three years. This is an art class, so be prepared to create with your mind, heart, and soul. Definitely, he wants you to trust the process of creating and learning about the power of the visual arts through hands-on projects, art history, vocabulary, and art creation. This is his 15th year of teaching. 13 of these years have been with Newton County Schools. Hi, I'm Ms. Bellamy, and I'll be teaching business and computer science, and I want to welcome you guys back to another great school year. My favorite color is green, and my favorite team is the Baltimore Ravens. In this class, we will learn about Google Suites, Microsoft Office, entrepreneurship, web design, learn and build effective communication skills, and build a foundation for computer science. Next, we have Senora Perez. Um, in this class, you will develop communica communicative competence in Spanish, understand the culture of people who speak Spanish as their native language, use Spanish outside of the classroom in everyday day life, whether virtual or in person, please be ready to learn with an open mind, asking questions and willing to demonstrate what you know from experience and from the class. Next, we have Family and Consumer Science, known as FACTS, um, taught by Ms. Harrell, but we call her Chef. You will learn skills such as employability, career planning, leadership, money management, menu planning, meal preparation, and other life skills that are needed in today's society. Last, we have Ms. Belcher. She is teaching Genesis Math for 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. This is our math support class. Ms. Belcher attended, well, is attending Grand Canyon University, but she also has a degree from Strayer University and Georgia State. If you have any questions, you can write them in the chat or unmute yourself and either of the teachers will answer it for you.
Oh, sorry, I missed Miss McDaniel. I'm sorry. <laughs> Uh, we have Ms. McDaniel. Um, she's our ESOL teacher. She is great with her students. She has an associate's degree, bachelor's degree, a master's, and an educational specialist degree. She is a veteran, and we respect her highly. And her favorite pastime is cooking for her, her family. Now we have questions. <laughs> Thank you, Ms. Bellamy, for introducing me. Um, do we have any questions? Okay, okay parents. Um, how do we know which connections our child will have? Okay, 2020, great question. When the schedules go live tomorrow, your student, you'll find out who your student's connections teachers are. So your student, unless your student sees me, your student will have two connection classes tomorrow. And we just wanna make sure that we clarify, the connections classes are assigned randomly. Um, all students will have PE. They will probably have PE a couple of times um, while they're here for the three years. Um, so if you want to change your students class, just understand that it's kind of hard to do that because we usually have 900 students. We have 10 connections. Um, so students are going to have to kind of kind of go where we send them for right now. We appreciate you understanding that. Um, if your students have not picked up their books, their syllabus, their novels, their workbooks, their textbooks, um, last week they have one more chance tomorrow between 10 and 12. They can come up to the bus ramp, stay in the car, tell, the, tell us their name, and we will give them all their supplies for the year. Um, we also have one little housekeeping thing to do. Um, one of the non-negotiables in Newton County is that students are supposed to have their camera on during classes. Uh, there's a couple reasons for that. Participation grade, um, believe it or not, it also helps for the teacher to kind of gauge if the students are understanding what they're teaching. Um, not all students are um, um, comfortable with saying, hey, I don't get it. So if we can see their faces, we'll know what's going on. Um, if a student has a reason why maybe they don't want to have their home um, in the video, if the student will just no, privately chat to the teacher that there's something going on, then we'll get with the family and we'll do everything we can to respect that student's, um, you know, home. Um, but we really, really, really want to see our baby's faces. So if we could keep those cameras on, um, and we want to make sure that our students log in on time and that they also log out, get that snack, run to the restroom, and get logged on to their next class on time. So we're going to start on time and end on time um, just to make sure that our students don't miss anything. Um, we request a band for our son, a sixth grader. How will that work virtually is, let me check that question. It looks Okay, so I see Ms. Ward is with us. She's one of our assistant principals. Maybe she can address that question about band. We requested band for our son, a sixth grader. How will that work virtually? Is there a guarantee he will be in band class? Can you all hear me? Ms. Ward? Okay, so she might be muted. Um, 2020, I'm going to put my email address down here so that you can email me and we will get that question answered for you. Can you all hear me? Yes, we do hope one day to all be back in person. So that'll, that'll fix the uh, virtual part. How can I request a specific connection for my daughter? Um, as I mentioned a moment ago, um, with so many students, we just, the students are assigned connections. All of our kids need to take health and PE, um, but the classes are randomly selected. Um, so if there's maybe a reason, say for instance, your child has band and you may not be able to get an instrument or maybe there's an instrument the student wants to play and they can't, then we always take those kind of requests into uh, consideration. But generally, once we schedule the students for connections, we pretty much like to kind of keep them there. But if you do have a specific reason, you want to email one of the teachers or administrators, they will definitely look, um, look at that situation on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, Ms. Ward was speaking. Did you hear Ms. Ward? Well, hear me? I'm sorry, I didn't hear Ms. Ward um, speaking. 
Miss Ward, we can, can hear, hear you. Now? We can hear yes. you, Miss oh. Ward. I thought it was Stone, me. Miss Bellamy thinking. said Miss Ward was speaking. We don't. Okay. Um, Miss Whaley White and I don't hear her. Yeah, we can hear her, guys. Okay. So, um, as far as band band class is offered um, for the students this year, and we did um, get the names of sixth grade students who were interested during the um, summer bridge program. If you are interested in band please email me. My email address is on the Clements website. Also, we do not take um, requests for connections classes as it's very difficult to, to get everyone in the classes that they want. So we, we do accept uh, band and chorus, but those are the only two that you can request. Thank you, Ms. Ward. You're welcome. Okay, so the question for when is track tryouts, Coach Zach just um, posted track is the spring sport. Newton County is still watching for COVID-19 numbers to resume sports. As of right now, middle school sports is still suspended. So once we get a, a different directive on that, we will be sure to send that information out. I have a question. Um, I know schedules are not finalized yet, but my son's tentative schedule shows that he has band and general music. Sorry, I couldn't hear you. Could you repeat yourself, please? Yeah, my son's schedule, I guess it's a tentative schedule because they said that um, they're finalizing schedules, they'll be posted. But right now, Infinite Campus, it shows that he has band and general music. Can you please email me your son's name? I can. Thank you, I'll fix it. Who am I emailing this to? Miss Ward, I'm gonna, I, I apologize. I'm Miss Ward. I'm one of the assistant principals. I'm okay. gonna send her email in the chat box. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Do we have any more questions? Yes, um, my I don't know if I'm on the right link. I had texted in a little in the chat box. Um, my son is in eighth grade, and I was sent this link. Um, I've been having problems with the logins for the like different classes. Um, so I don't know how to, I missed the math, but his last name, I mean, his name is Christopher Hernandez Andrade. Okay. Can you see the rotation on the screen? Is that showing? Yes, okay. I've had a problem signing in with the science one because it said the passcode was was incorrect, and then the math I couldn't, I got bumped off and I couldn't see this this um screen right now. Okay, I'm sorry you are having an issue. Right. So, I'm trying to see. Hold on one second. I was talking and I was muted. Um, so for, okay, so she just dropped, Ms. Brantley just dropped the code in the chat box. So for your son, for Hernandez, you should be going to social studies next. Is that okay. right? No, that's not right. So his first one is math. No, he should be going to, which one? Trying to get all of this in order. Like, okay. Right. His first thing was math. Let's see, the next thing was science. And the, what is this meaning? This is the... Okay, so 
the one that you should be in right now, if I'm not mistaken, is so. So you've already done. You've already done connections, which is where you would go next. So I would just go back to social studies. Hold on, you're muted. I can't hear you. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, so you said I've already done the connections. Mm -hmm. So then um, so go back. I do now is the social studies. Mm -hmm. And then, will, it, will there be a chance if I could go back to the math? Um, I believe that these sessions are going to be recorded. So if you do miss anything, um, you should be able to go back to review the information that was reviewed today. Um, but for right now, for just the time that's left, um, you can either go back to social studies or you can go to another subject that you would like to hear the information about. Okay, thank you. I'll log into the social studies one right now. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, parents if, and students, if you don't have any more questions of your connections teachers, you can go ahead and leave this meeting and log in to your next meeting. We always want to start on time and end on time. Um, just remember to tell your students that when it's time to go to their next class, we need to jump in there and go to the next class. But if you have any other questions, just go ahead and, and put them in the chat. We'll answer them real quick. But your next session will start right now. Thanks for coming in with us. So if you're just joining for 620, we should have F through J for 620 to 640, and we'll get started in a moment. Excuse me. Um, I had put inside the chat that I was trying to find the student parent code to log on to, if, um, to Canvas. The parent code for each student is different depending on the teacher. So you will um, have to reach out to that teacher and ask them for the pairing code for the student. Or you can add yourself as an observer. To go on to Canvas. So do I ask the homeroom teacher or? Yes, I'm sorry, I muted myself back, I'm sorry. Yes, so you have to get there from her homeroom teacher to pair. Um, with her so the code comes from the teacher okay thank you mm -hmm. Somebody in. All right, good evening and welcome to our virtual open house. My name is Miss White and I am the Connections Department Chair. If your student is a sixth grader, you may be used to connections being called specials in elementary school, but unlike elementary school, students will receive grades for their connections classes. The connections department is comprised of several classes, some of which are physical, physical education, art, business and computer science, and Spanish. In this session, you will be introduced to our connections staff and provided with a brief overview of their classes.
Good afternoon. My name is Mrs. Perez. I'm the Spanish teacher. I'd like to welcome you to Open House. And uh, I look forward to an amazing school year online. Um, I'm going to present some of our Connections teachers today. First, we have Mr. Langston, who is a physical education teacher, who uh, really stresses participation. He states, you are expected and required to try your best every day. He has a Bachelor's of Health in Physical Education from Kennesaw State University. Uh, Lakers is his favorite NBA team, uh, Braves, so the favorite baseball team, and his favorite football team are the Falcons. Next we have Coach Zachary, who is the health teacher. Um, she states, I am Coach Zachary. I'm delighted to have you guys in my class this year. In health, we will go over the entire spe spectrum of what health and wellness is, why we need it, and how to achieve and maintain it. This course fully aligns with the uh, Newton County School System high school health curriculum. And it is a ninth grade course and will be treated as such. And she states, please come to my class with an open mind, integrity, and patience as we tackle this school year. Next, we have our new music teacher, Ms. Brantley, who is Ms. Brantley. She gives um, information. Um, she is a native of Columbia, South Carolina. Um, it's not easy for me to see all the details, um, but in her class, music, she has a lot of expectations. She expects, like all of the teachers, for you to log into your Zoom meetings on time, have your video on, um, have your device muted, um, participate in the chat room when you're asked to, cooperate with your group mates um, and in the breakout rooms. Speak only when given permission or when you have the floor and have your materials ready to go when class starts. Next, we do have um, Mrs. Whaley White, who is the engineering and technology teacher. Um, in the class, you will learn the engineering design process um, as, we, as well as how to use it to solve design challenges. Also, engineering, drawing, and drafting, coding, computer-aided design, communication systems, invention versus innovation. Uh, Mrs. Whaley White has a A lot of uh, great educational background. Uh, master's in secondary education from Grand Canyon University, bachelor's university, a bachelor's in sociology from Georgia State University. And her favorite color is pink. Her favorite singer is Beyonce. And Mrs. Whaley White. Next, we have Mr. Graham, who is the art teacher. Um, currently, he is the visual arts teacher where, here at Clements. Um, he's been teaching at Clements for the past three years. This is uh, an art class, he states, so please be prepared to create with your mind, heart, and soul. Definitely, he states he wants you to trust the process of creating and learning about the power of visual arts through hands-on projects, art history, vocabulary, and art creation. Mr. Graham has a degree from Thomas University, his master's of education and leadership and teacher leadership, also a BA in art studio with art education. Okay guys, so now we turn our attention to Ms. Bellamy's class. She is our business and computer science teacher. In her class, she will be teaching things such as Google Suites, Microsoft, office, entrepreneurship, web design, um, learn and build effective com communication skills, as well as build a foundation for computer science. And just a little bit about Miss Bellamy. Her favorite color is green. Her favorite team is the Baltimore Ravens. And her favorite candy is one of my favorites as well. It's the Forever Rocher.
Next teacher is our Spanish teacher, Senora Perez. Um, awesome language. In her class, you will develop communicative um, competence in Spanish. Understand not only the language, but the culture of the people who speak Spanish as their native language. Um, you guys will be challenged to use your Spanish outside of the classroom because, of course, practice makes perfect. And then we have yours truly, uh, Miss Harrell, also known as Chef. I am your family and consumer science teacher and your FCCLA advisor. In family and consumer science, we'll learn skills such as employability, career planning, leadership, money management, uh, menu planning, my favorite meal preparation, as well as other life skills that you would definitely lead throughout your entire lifespan. FCCLA is the organization that is affiliated with family and consumer science classes. It is known as Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. Super excited about um, working with my students in this organization this school year. Next, we have Ms. Belcher the teacher that all students love. <laughs> she is our Genesis math um, teacher, our um, support math teacher. Just a little bit about her. She has, um, she went to Grand Canyon University, um, Strayer University, Georgia State University, and her favorite team is the Atlanta Falcons, and her favorite snack is Cheez-Its. And then we have Miss McDaniel, who is our English to speakers of other language. She is a wealth of knowledge. She's a great resource at our school. Um, she has um, an awesome list of degrees behind her name. And she is, um, let's see, she went to Elizabethtown Community College, Western Kentucky University, um, and then the other ones that are listed there. She is definitely a veteran and she states that her favorite pastime is cooking with her family. And that concludes the introduction of our teachers in the connections department and the floor is now open if you guys have any questions. Okay, if you have any questions, just, I'm sorry, you have a question? Okay. I'm sorry. If you have any questions, you can just drop them in the chat um, and we will do our best to answer your questions. Couple housekeeping things. Um, it's a non-negotiable in Newton County. We really, really, really need your students to keep their cameras on. A couple reasons for that. Um, so that we can kind of gauge by their facial expressions if they understand what's going on in class. Um, it's a lot easier when we're here in school um, to see what's going on with our kids or check their level of understanding. But if they're at home and their cameras off, we're really not sure if they're getting um, on what we're teaching. So we need to make sure they keep the cameras on. If there's something going on and the student doesn't feel comfortable um, with the camera on for some reason, if they would just maybe chat uh, privately with the teacher and let us know what's going on, we will um, of course respect um, our students in their homes, but it really is important that the cameras are left on. Um, let's also make sure that our students know that we need to sign into class on time so we don't miss anything. And then when class is in, we need to jump off, get our snack, use the restroom, whatever we have to do. And of course, sign into our other class on time. If your students have not picked up their supplies, their agendas, their workbooks, their novel, their textbooks that was last week, we do have another opportunity tomorrow between 10 and 12. Um, they just pull up. Well, they shouldn't pull up. They should be in the car with someone who pulls up to the bus ramp. Um, just say your name and then we'll make sure that your student gets the supplies they need to start school next week. I'm sure someone has already mentioned that schedules will go live live, I think tomorrow. Um, uh, I don't know if we discussed um, all students will receive uh, random connections. We usually have over 900 students in the building and Ms. Warren and Ms. Glover, our registrar, work very hard to schedule our students and connections. Your student may end up with PE more than one time. We do understand that. 
but with 10 connections, 900 kids, the kids are going to end up rotating through a couple connections twice. We just hope that you bear with us and understand that random um, is just that. It's random. Um, if you have a student that may, maybe they're in band and they weren't able to get an instrument or something happens where they can no longer be in band, if you'll just email the school, um, the band teacher, Ms. Ward, our AP, um, and talk to her about your, con your concerns and she'll see what she can do. But generally when our kids are in connections, that's kind of pretty much where we're going to keep them. All right, so we don't have any questions. Do we have any questions? Do I see a Malachi? I see a hand. Were you waving? Ms. McDaniel's already in Infinite Campus. All right, Ms. Whaley White's going to um, go over the next rotation. Go ahead, Ms. White. Yeah. You Ms. McDaniel, can you hear me? I don't think she can. Ms. <laughs> McDaniel, um, uh, Martha okay. Pennington was saying so The next please. rotation is uh, 640 to 7. So if I'm not mistaken, you guys will leave here and go to ELA. Correct, Ms. Bellamy? Um, you checked, you checked behind me last time. Who we talking about? So from oh, here, I'm, we're going. <laughs> Dr. Pennington was trying to say something to you guys. Oh, she I think was? she was saying um, that the schedule's already an infinite campus, so the parents can check. Is that right, Dr. Pennington? That is correct. The schedules are alive and active in infinite campus. They, they're ready. All right. Thanks. Yes, alive and active in infinite campus. Thank you, Dr. Pennington. You're welcome. Thank you. All right, so on our schedule, um, the next section after you guys leave us is going to be ELA, and that information is right here, ELA meeting ID, and that is the password. Do we Malachi, have- did you, hmm? Malachi, did you have a question? Um, yes, ma'am. Go ahead. How would PE go? Would it be like a break, or will we actually do something? I didn't hear what you said, sweetie. We got stuff to do, Malachi. We'll definitely be um, participating in PE. It'll be very similar to what we do normally in class. Um, I think you'll like it. You'll enjoy it. Okay. Um, do, those, do this schedule go for self-paced as well? Uh, self-paced, you will follow the schedule that they have in Ingenuity for you. So. You will go to all your classes, but when you log in is when you on your time, but you have to log in at least 18, 19 hours a week for perfect mm -hmm. attendance for self-paced. Okay. You're welcome. So, if you are uh, self-paced Malachi, it won't be myself or the uh, other coach, Coach Langston. So where would they log in at? This is mother. Through the Ingenuity platform, through Launchpad. Mm-hmm. Does he have um, a school issue Google Chromebook? Yes, ma'am. So where would that be at? So when you um, log in, if you click on the Google Chrome browser, the launch pad will automatically generate and you will click on Ingenuity. Okay. Call Ingenuity. What's Ingenuity. 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 The courseware or Pathblazer? Man, I can't hear you. The um, courseware or the pathblazer? It's two of them. Say that again. I'm sorry. Court, um, the courseware or pathblazer? It's two of them. Um, I can clarify. Um, if you send me an email, I can let you know which one he needs to click to begin. But I would have to look at him specifically. Okay. Um, I'll type my email in the chat. Okay. Thank you, Ms. Bellamy. All right, for those of you that were in our fourth session, our session is gonna end. Um, if you would go ahead and leave the session Make sure you sign in at, on the sign-in roster that should be going around, correct, Ms. Bellamy? Um, Ms. Weatherwhite? 
Um, and your next class would be, um, where are they going? Rotation number five, F through J, you would be in ELA. And the ELA code is on the screen for you. So we'd like to start on time and on time. If you'll just go ahead and log out of this class and go ahead and log into ELA. We're looking forward to a great year. Uh, students, thanks for coming. Parents, we appreciate your support. Any questions, anything you need, please feel free to uh, email your teachers, any of us, and we will do our best to answer your questions. Yes, we still have a lot of participants from our 620 to 640 session. We need you guys to go ahead and log out and go ahead and log into ELA. You should be in ELA. And if you've already been to ELA and you've missed any, um, any of the other sessions, just go ahead and pick a session you missed and log in there. Okay, so you're letting them in. Good evening and welcome to our virtual open house. My name is Ms. White and I'm the Connections Department Chair. If your student is a sixth grader, you may be used to connections being called specials in elementary school. But unlike elementary school, students will receive grades for their connections classes. The Connections Department is comprised of several classes. Some of the classes that are offered to your student include physical education, art, business and computer science, and Spanish. In this session, you will be introduced to our Connection staff and provided with a brief overview of their classes. You got me? Can you hear me? All right, in Connections, we have, um, first you hear Mr. Langston, he's gonna be teaching physical education. He is so excited to have everyone here. Um, he has a favorite NBA team, the Lakers. Baseball team is the Braves. Football team is the Falcons. He has a bachelor's degree in health and physical education from Kennesaw State University. Okay. How are you doing? Okay. All right, and then we have um, Coach Zachary. Coach Zachary is here for her second year. We're so glad to have Coach Zachary. Um, she's going to be teaching eighth grade health and wellness. And in addition to teaching eighth grade health, she will also be teaching the ninth grade. Um, this Her eighth grade course will align with the ninth grade um, health course. Um, so that's going to give you some pre credit, I think. Coach Zachary, so glad to have her. Coach Zachary will probably also be our uh, track coach right now, middle school. Um, middle school sports is kind of on hold till we get this COVID thing under control. But as soon as we find out when we can go back in, um, we will let you know. And I'm sure Coach Zachary will be the girls track coach. Go ahead. 
Next, we have in music this year, in course, we have Miss Brantley. Um, she has her expectations up on the screen, but first and foremost, she wants everyone to know that she's excited to have you here. Um, I can't really read her. I'm so sorry, Miss Brantley. I can't really read her expectations, but I'm sure she will cover them as soon as class starts next week. We're so glad to have Miss Brantley here first year. I can't read that. Okay, engineering technology, uh, Ms. Whaley White. Ms. Whaley White is returning to us. We're so happy to have her back. Um, she's doing engineer design and process, engineer drawing and drafting. She's gonna teach some coding, um, computer aided design, communication systems, interventions and innovations. She has a bachelor's of sociology from Georgia State University, has a favorite color of pink. Favorite singer is Beyonce. And we are so glad to have Ms. Whaley White back in Newton County with us this year. Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham has been with us in Newton County for 13 years. Mr. Graham is our, our visual arts teacher. It's more than um, painting by numbers with Mr. Graham. Mr. Graham's going to teach you all about um, art. Um, he has been at Clemens here for the last three years. Um, he's going to help to, um, his art class is this is an art class, so be prepared to create with your mind, heart, and soul. He's going to teach us about visual arts through hands-on projects, art history, vocabulary, and art creation. I know for a fact that Mr. Graham is very passionate about art. Um, if your students seem to struggle in art, it's not because Mr. Graham has not done everything he can to help them. Please get a hold of Mr. Graham, and Mr. Graham will make sure your child is successful in art. We are so happy to have Mr. Graham. Miss Bellamy. Miss Bellamy is my godsend. Miss Bellamy helps old people like me with technology. So I know if Miss Bellamy can help me, your scholars are going to be in great hands. Miss um, Bellamy's class, Business and Computer Science, is going to teach kids about Google Suites, Microsoft Office, entrepreneurship, web design. She's going to teach them to build effective communication skills and build a foundation for computer sciences. Ms. Bellamy spends millions of hours a day answering parents' emails. She's going to contact you when your student is not um, on task and getting what she wants them to get. So we're so happy to have Ms. Bellamy back here. I think maybe her third year with us, right, Ms. Bellamy? All right, that's Ms. Bellamy. Next, we have Miss uh, Perez. Miss Perez is back with us. I think this is her second year with us. Miss Perez is our Spanish teacher. Um, lots of great things going on over there. Sometimes some eating does go on over there, so hands on. So can't wait to get back into the building. She's going to teach our students to develop communicative, um, communicative competence in Spanish. Say that three times. She's going to teach you about the culture other people who speak Spanish as their native language. That's where some of that eating is going to come in. Um, and she's going to teach you to use Spanish outside of the classroom. So she says, whether virtually or in person, please be ready to learn with an open mind, ask questions, and be willing to demonstrate what you know from experience and from class. And she says, gracias. That's thank you. I know that one. Miss Perez. Family and computer science. That is Miss Harrell. Us old folks used to call it um, home ec, but it's now called family and consumer science. Um, chef, I cannot wait to get back in the building virtually. She'd be cooking up some stuff down there with them kids. They'd be walking down the hallway. Smelling so good. Um, she has a degree, a bachelor's of science from Worthrop University in Rock Hill. This is her second year. We got her from South Carolina. We're so glad to have her. Um, they're going to learn in her class employability. We're going to teach these babies to be employable, career planning, leadership, money management, menu planning, menu preparation, and other life skills. The big thing I want us parents to understand is that it's not the home ec of the past. We're not going to make a dress. We're not going to be in there learning too much about ironing. Chef is going to teach our babies how to cook and how to manage money. So it's a little bit different than what we're used to, but we love having Chef in the building. That is Miss Harrell. Miss Belcher. Miss Belcher was with us last year. She was our technology specialist. Um, we're still glad to have her helping us old folks with technology, but she's gonna be teaching um, Genesis math. 
Genesis Math is a Connections Math class, and we have that class. We're so blessed to have it. Some of our babies that need a little bit extra help with math outside of their classroom, they're going to have Miss Belcher. Miss Belcher is going to um, have very small class, a lot of one-on-one, -on -one, a lot of um, using computers to solve problems. Miss Belcher is a great addition um, to our math team. Um, so she, some of your students will have her for math. Um, please be excited for your student to have her. That's that additional math help. She has a bachelor's of science in sociology from Georgia State University. Young, full of life, and excited to be a first year teacher here. So if your student has Miss Belcher, count yourself as blessed. Me, oh, that's me. Uh, I am Miss McDaniel. Again, I teach English to speakers of other languages. Got a couple of degrees. Um, what I want our kids to know and our parents to know is I didn't start college till I was 38 years old, right before I retired from the military. So it's never too late for folks to go ahead and decide to do something. So I did start that late. Um, I do have several degrees because the more degrees you have, the more money you make and the more you can help students out. Um, I am in a second career as a teacher. I was a pharmacy technician for 20 years in the military. Um, love, love, love being here at Clemens. I've been here. This is my 11th year at Clemens, 14th year in the building. So we are so excited in Connections um, to have your students with us this year. Um, we have some questions in the chat box. What do we have here? Um, just some hellos. Okay, we got some folks missing, miss, missing chef. Um, okay, so just a little bit of housekeeping. If your students weren't able to pick up their supplies last year, that's their agenda, their workbooks for ELA, their workbook for social studies, their science books, their math books, their social studies books, their novels for language arts, gonna be reading some great books this year. If your kids weren't able to pick those up last year, tomorrow between 10 and 12, um, a parent or guardian or someone who can drive, can drive them through the bus ramp, say their name and we'll get them those books. We've been told that the schedules are live and in color, so your students can go on Infinite Campus and see their schedule. Um, cameras, um, we missed our kids. Some of us uh, get the goosebumps, we really missed our babies. Um, one of the non-negotiables in Newton County is we would just love, 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 love for the students to have their camera on. So when we're in class, we have our camera on for a couple of reasons. One of them being, A, yes, we wanna see our babies, but B, because we can then see by your expressions, we can see by your body language, whether you understand what's going on. So if you have your camera off, we don't get to judge what we might need to regroup and reteach. So we really need the camera on. Sometimes it may be as simple as a participation grade, but that's one of the things in Newton County that we really, really, really wanna call like a non-negotiable parents. So let's please make sure that the kids' cameras are on. If there's something going on and, and the student might not feel comfortable with the camera on in the house, just send us a quick email or uh, the student can chat privately with the teacher and let us know um, what's going on. There's some really great backgrounds that the kids can put behind them. It can look like they're at the beach or something. Um, so there's other things that we can do to make the student comfortable because first and foremost, we're going through something. Um, teachers, we're going through it is with you, um, but we want our kids to be happy um, and to be well adjusted. So just let us know if there's anything that we can do um, to help you guys. Other than that, any other questions? This is connections all grades can hear. Okay, all right. Okay, all right, we miss you. A lot of folks loving and missing a uh, uh, chef over there. We miss her too because there's no cooking going on in the building, so we miss her too. I see Dr. Pennington's in. Dr. Pennington, do you have anything for our students? No, we're just excited uh, to see all of you and so happy that you're well. Uh, we do have a platform that we're going to introduce to you all a bit later. Uh, we're going to focus a bit on Rethink Ed and some social emotional learning, um, some self-awareness and, and uh, dealing with a, a lot of uh, just, uh, just talking about things that we've been through and helping each other. So we're so happy. Miss Dean, the other counselor is on. Miss Dean, wave. Miss Dean, you want to share anything with our kids? We're excited. Yes, we are excited. Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to Clements Middle School. I am Mrs. Dean, and I'm the counselor for all students. 
last names A through K. We look forward to getting to know you all again this school year. Thank you, Ms. McDaniel. Very entertaining. We loved it. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right, so that is all that we have for you. Um, I don't see a lot of questions, but please, 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 um, if you need anything, please email your teachers, um, email the front office, call the front office. I'm telling myself that bit. Call the front office. This is this is new. This is new um, for all of us. Um, so just let us know what we can do to help you. Um, we want our kids to be successful. Um, it's it's what we're here for. We're, we're here for um, the students to be successful. From the bottom of our heart, we're here for you. So let us know if you need anything. Let's just make sure that our kids get plenty of rest, that we have a routine for them. We get them up. I have an eighth grader um, in another county. He's been at school about two weeks now. I make him get up, make his bed, get dressed, eat breakfast, um, leave out of his room and sit at the kitchen table to just kind of make him have some type of a routine. Um, Cause last year he, he just did not do well. So let's um, try to get our kids a routine and please, 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 if you have anything that you need from us, please let us know. Um, we'll let you know when sports comes back up. We'll, we're gonna keep you abreast of when we're gonna come back in the building, but anything you need, um, our counselors are here. Our department is here, our school is here, our principal's here uh, for you and our students. So we can't wait to have a great year. Um, be safe, um, continue to be blessed, and uh, we will see you guys on Tuesday.